What's going on guys, Tony Attack, you're back with another video. I know I'm supposed to be um, probably putting this channel, I mean this video on my other channel, but I'm just gonna be putting it on this channel for now because I'm making like 15 other channels. I mean 15 other videos for my Dover Central channel and I'm gonna be uploading that soon. So um, yeah, so today I just went and picked up this dune buggy not hot rod right there that we're gonna keep for a while but this nice dune buggy that i'm just just looking at it's just got shocks and everything it's just really nice about 50 bucks off craigslist this guy kind of gave me a roll cage and everything and he gave me an extra gas tank and um, let me just show you what it looks like but let's sit down because um, so the features basically are, there's not really features, but the nice gas tank, got shocks out of roll cage. Um, I'm making a seat out of a stroller. It might sound weird, but it's not. Then, it's just really nice. The steering wheel looks bent, or never mind. Three, two, one. Bam. Do you want to see what that's good? But first, let's just like look at this. There's, there's no steering wheel, no engine. I mean, sorry, no wheels, no engine, and no seat. Those are the three main things that I need for this to run. Got, it has nice shocks. He gave me the steering wheel, and he, he, I just mounted the roll cage kind of. I actually put that piece on to like finish it and everything. This is really, really, really nice. 50 bucks too. The guy was like, he had like probably 20 of them that you could just walk around and look at. It came with um, tail light that wasn't hooked to any battery or anything. Which is pretty nice tail light. I might use it later. Then it just got cables and wires. This hooks up to like the engine and everything. But I mean, sorry, the um, what's it called? The headlights and the tail lights. So you can like turn them on and everything. I mean, they're kind of broken and everything, but just came with it. So we got these nice shocks. You might be saying, um, where's the back? Tail end, but I have to make the whole thing. Um, I forget what the brand of this is called, but I'll try to remember throughout the video when I'm going through the features. Um, no, I think it's called Durf Dog. Not Durf Dog, but something like that. I don't know. Go kart where it'll show you how to make the back and everything because I need a, the shocks and the back axle and everything. I still need to make the front axle kind of. We got this little rack that's like bouncy for some reason. And he also gave me a gas tank, an extra big gas tank. It's actually huge and I might change the color, like sand it off and paint it like probably a dark purple or dark or just black. So I might paint the whole thing like black and purple or something nice. That's my paint this color again. This is a nice go-kart. I'm gonna be using the Sims engine. Maybe I might just buy a new engine. A 200, a 301 cc engine, which goes really fast. And this just mounts kind of right there, but you hook those two under there on both sides. And overall, this is probably one, this is one of the most valuable things. This is probably the valuable, the most valuable thing I have. Other than that, that was $100, but I don't care anymore because that thing's a piece of junk. No, I'm joking. It's just too small for me. That's why I bought this. This is probably going to take me a year to around a year, a year and a half. It could take me till Christmas time next year. So it's like 2020 Christmas. But I think that overall, this is really, really nice. 
it even got the break in the gas. Like all the cars that he had, it only another one, one more. So I'm kind of in it. It has the brake pedal and the gas. Or sorry, the brake pedal and the gas pedal. So it has the brake on that side and the gas right there. He has the brake box. I forget what those are called, but they got like the little feet pads on both sides. And this is a two seater. Like a two seater. Two seaters are pretty nice, but I might just make this a one seater. Then later on put another seat in it. So the steering wheel, I mounted this on with some bolt or screws, a little screws. That hook up to this, which hook up to this thing, which hook up to that, and it turns. Which turns these, which turns the ends. And to mount the tires, you can get, I think the shock, the shocks go in here to like the tires and everything. But this is just overall really nice. Go kart, let me go dune buggy. I'm just calling it a dune buggy. Well, Mr. Dunes, yeah, Mr. Dunes. It's the really nice one. Now, for the, for the now these are supposed to, when you hook them onto this, this part is supposed to go onto here. So that's supposed to go right there, and it's supposed to be able to hook onto right here. Well, but the thing is, they're like three inches apart, and I'm not gonna make a whole nother one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy another welder, it's like a 200, like a 215 buck welder. Then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, both of these sides, and you, can, you can bolt them or weld them on, but bolting them is probably easier. And you can weld them if you want to. And I'm gonna get one piece of the pipe, like the metal tubing, and I'm gonna put it from this side to this side so they're connecting. Then I'm gonna take it in the middle and it's gonna come up and kinda over and I'm just gonna hook to these two. It's kinda like an extra grippy thing bobber, you know? And that piece goes on top of here so it holds everything together. And this is just an extra rack that you could put like a gas tank on, even though I don't think you're gonna need a gas tank with like, what do I think? I think this is two gallons. All hair must be tied and secure at, at or above shoulder length. All loose clothing must be secured. All necklaces and scarves must be secured. Sun was saying, um, Oh, I feel like that's how, like, if they had like a ad for this, they're like, warning, all hair must be tied up. Secured at all. Both shoulders up. This is like two gallons, I think. You can pour two gallons in here and then you can drive for like a couple hours. Oh. Right there. Tonight. So if you look in there, you can definitely not. Yeah, you can't. How's it rusty in there? All that rust. Gonna, I'm gonna put like this acid and water and you let it sit overnight then in the morning or the next day you take the water out put baking powder I think and you do something with it uh, well, I wasn't really, I was paying attention to the guy but I don't know then there's just like all this extra like bulk stuff they can like build onto it and everything it's just all around Really, 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 really expensive one. Um, if you went on a website to buy one of these, exactly like the exact same thing. If you, I fix it up and spray paint it, probably be like thirty-six hundred dollars. I'm gonna say a thousand, but that'd be expensive. Thirty-six hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. It's three thousand six hundred dollars. That's not like much. It'd be that much money, or 
for me, this is probably gonna be like what 50 bucks for the frame. Um, engine probably like two hundred dollars. Money. I don't want to buy a two hundred dollar engine. What the flip am I doing? No, I'm buying two hundred dollars. Flip it. Um, and then I can probably like mount like a panel that has like LED lights just freaking galore. And then you can see the gas tank. So that's nice gas tank. And that's basically the tour of this. If you guys want to questions, leave it down in the comment section below if you want to know how to do anything. Like how to make a rear axle or how to mount shocks on or how to buy wheels, I guess. I don't know. Ugh. Um, just ask questions if you want to know how to spray paint it, but that might be coming. I'm going to spray paint it when I'm done building it and when the tires are on and when everything's complete. And after I drove it around, I'm going to take everything off, spray paint it, and then let it dry overnight. Or not spray paint it, paint it. And it's going to be really flipping nice. So, come back here. Actually, we're not going to go back there. We're going to go here. We're gonna do something real quick. Let's do it. Sorry, it's kind of a mess. I'm gonna mess. If you take my 25 foot long Lufkin, Lufkin, so we're gonna measure it. So right there, will I measure it? So it is probably with the back tires and the tires mounted on. I would like to say that it is going to be roughly, probably, I'd say about 85 inches long. 85 inches. That is long. It's going to be wide. And the width is going to be like, so 85 inches long. Forty inches wide, and I, I don't really care how tall it is, but forty-eight inches tall. So if it's eighty-five inches long, then go to a freaking hot rod. Look at this beauty, beauty, guys! Oh my gosh, so majestic, so majestic, so majestic. So eighty-five. Let's see how much, how long this is. It's like hot rod. I'm gonna destroy you. Oh, no way, no way, no way. 103 long. 103 inches long. It's like a foot in a freaking long. And how wide is it? 44, of course, it's wider. What if I took the top off, the roll cage off? Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Seventy. Yes. Overall, hot rod destroys this. Oh, there you go. I want to put the tires on. It's gonna be way taller. Everything. So. <laughs> Here's my progress on my go kart track. But I can't talk right now. So much pride progress. Got hot rod just chilling there. It's gonna come up here and it's gonna come down. And you can kind of see the path starting. It's gonna kind of curve around. Then it's gonna go back. I can't really see it. Go back there, then it's gonna come back around and floor it up here and go back there behind the shop. So that's my that's my progress right now. That took me about probably 45 minutes to build or because I you had to dig like about that much underground just get all the dirt off so it's kind of hard then you just put on the side then I'm gonna get big rocks and set them there and you have to drift around that trash tire I I flipped that from like a long time oh yeah then you got 
mini rod bow wow. We got the it reserved for mini rod. This is mini rod. Flip me, bro. And this is this used to be my Jeffries. My Jeffrey. Oh, that's yeah, that's destroyed now. Love. This is mini rod. It has black rims except that one because that one popped. Yeah. Just overall nice. The flag came off while I was flooring it downhill. And yeah. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave it down below. Questions? Do you have any comments? You can also like, that's why it's called a comment. I can't see myself. Flip, bro. I can't flip. Okay, now you can. If you have any questions, comments, leave it down below in the description. 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 Leave it down below in the description. 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 Description? Description. Description. Oh, leave it down in the comment section, yeah. And in the description. Description. I can't, I can't say the freaking description. And yeah, basically just leave any questions down below if you have any advice on how to do this. If you have any like places to go that's advice -y. I don't know. If you have any places to go, like if you have you know like there's like gopowerspurs.com and there's other stuff if you have any other house um company that you know that sells go-kart stuff just can you leave it below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed um subscribe and like like down below if you want to see more videos like this on my other channel and this channel thank you guys so much for watching see you guys later peace